What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dirk Hamilwood, and in this video, we will be covering uh, section chapter 16, section 11, ethical issues having to do with artificial intelligence ro and, ro and robotics. Now, in this chapter, since we get to talk about es ethical issues, I get to unleash my inner fanboy and kind of redeem my nerd card, talk about sci-fi a little bit. So that'll be fun. Um, first, uh, first uh, ethical issue. Kind of, it has to do with the working class and kind of like in industry and whatnot. Uh, developing robots, which consume jobs, is one of the most major ethical issues today re relating to robotics. Simply because um, robots are much more efficient than human workers, and industries like the auto industry tend to rely heavily on them. In factories where once three or four human workers do their jobs, one robot who doesn't make mistakes, need coffee breaks or vacations can work 24-7 and doesn't get sick, can easily and efficiently replace a large amount of human workers for, for little to no um, difficulty. The installation of robots does create maintenance jobs, as I said in my last video, because, you know, people need to monitor them and set them up and make sure they're running right, but it puts more people out of work than the jobs it creates. Additionally, it puts a major strain on the working class who are not trained to handle des or design advanced robotics, meaning they can't uh, really qualify for the maintenance jobs. Um, additionally, in the future, it seems like the trend, as it is leaning more towards robotics uh, in, in the working class scenarios, means that families or, or people that are people that are unable to kind of get the training that they need to do that are going to be kind of left out of the loop and, and going to be left jobless. Some people believe that all menial labor one day will eventually be performed by robots, which is probably not too far off base. Um, these are just kind of general pictures to help you understand what I'm talking about. In the top left, I believe it's a, a welding robot, but I'm not really entirely clear on, on that. In the bottom right, though, is an example of an assembly line in which uh, robots are putting the finishing, well, not really the finishing touches, they're uh, building cars, which is, robots are, are one of them. This issue comes up most often in the auto industry, as I said before, uh, because assembly line dynamics because robots are so good at completing the same identical task over and over again without fail, it makes them very good candidates to work on the assembly line. So, next issue. Reliance. Um, the development of and use of robots in factories, in addition to atrophying the job market, raises other issues such as humanity's crippling reliance on technology and the question of how humans can trust machines to make decisions for them. As a sci-fi geek, I'm obviously quite well acquainted with this topic. Um, how can we really trust machines to make decisions decisions for, for us? As we saw in iRobot earlier on this year, um, the Asimovian laws and the example set by the best-selling science fiction novel and following movie raises many questions, among them how robot behavior could really be regulated. Obviously the three laws failed because uh, the AI found a loophole and kind of a workaround to the thou shalt not harm humans law kind of thing and that eventually led to the rebellion pictured in the movie how can we be so sure that our futile attempts to create artificial intelligence uh, won't kind of catapult us into the same dystopian future how can we be so sure that uh, the robots won't turn on us as as uh, as paranoid as that sounds and kind of cliche but it's obviously a real concern because humanity's reliance on IT technology, even today, people are unable to go five minutes without looking at their phone. And how can we possibly know that in the future we won't rely on our robot servants or whatever to do everything? How can that... I don't know. Um, as you can see, in, in today's world, obviously, there's not really that much big of a threat. I mean, in the top left, there's a, there's a domestic assistance robot who helps carry elderly people around if they're having trouble walking or if they need help getting someplace, in addition to being the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, there's there's robots that sweep. In the bottom left, there's a picture of a robot hand kind of pouring tea, so I don't know. First steps, you know? But how can we be so sure we aren't headed to a future like this? Uh, on the two left pictures, obviously, is from my robot. Top, light is, top right is from Matrix, and the bottom right is from Terminator, but... Um, yeah, I mean, like, how can we be so sure that we aren't headed to, to something like this? How, how, I don't know, I'm going to shut up now. Um, humanoid robots. 
Furthermore, the development of humanoid robots designed to mimic human shape, faces, and skin raises serious questions about our identities. Um, humanoid robots and and are developed to look like, or who are developed to look like us, are called androids. Um, could create, and they can create serious problems in the future, um, such as identity theft, as well as how we even define ourselves as human beings. Because even with research into fields now like neural nets, which are designed to mimic and, and replicate the human brain, um, what's so different from that and a human brain? And, and if they're skinned in a shell of uh, something that looks almost identical to a human, how are they not a human? You know, If it looks like a duck, if it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. But obviously, not really. Um, top left is a movie poster from Blade Runner, which is, I, I don't know if any, anyone's familiar from that, but it's a cult science fiction movie, and it has to do with uh, an investigator hunting down androids who are posing as humans who have escaped from some kind of, I don't know, work camp or something like that. Which, you know, it, 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 could, it could actually possibly happen sometime in the future. Bottom left is just like some stock figure, figure, some stock figure of an android that I found. On the top right, though, it, it wasn't really mentioned in the book, but it's kind of an inference, is that how how we define ourselves as human beings because you know we have the debate over gay marriage and and all that and all th everyone all, there's all these prejudiced and intolerant people but what about one day when people are having sex with robots and and humanoid robots how does that how is that any different I mean, obviously these issues are really only theoretical now but in the future they could be a real issue so all right these are my references and uh thanks for watching